Hey VC, it's Eric. I am back with another video. This one's kind of an experiment. I'm shooting on my iPod as opposed to my laptop. Just want to see if this is going to work out. Um, anyway, this hopefully will be a short one. Probably not though. I'm going to be talking about a band that is one of my all-time favorite bands. They are literally tied with another band as my absolute favorite band. I have a very personal attachment to this band, which I will talk about towards the end. But first, their records. And the band is from upstate New York, Rochester, to be specific. They were around from about 1977 to about 1983. Most people never heard of these guys, which is a real shame because they put out some killer, killer music. Starting off as kind of a power pop, punk pop band, New Math, first arrived on the scene with this 7-inch single, which is the Die Trying Can't Get Off the Ground. Great power pop, that late 70s stuff, uh, highly inspired by the British Invasion and the Kinks and the Trogs and the New York Dolls and all that kind of stuff. Lots of energy, great songwriting. Uh, this is from the Archive Records, uh, which was a, is still, this is what it looks like, a local record store that had its own label for a little while and put that out. It, they did get picked up by CBS Records in Europe. This actually charted in the UK and was favorably reviewed in about 1980. This came out in 79. The two bands that they were compared to in the review in Billboard magazine were two bands I've never really heard of, uh, U2 and somebody from Georgia, R.E.M., something like that. Um, so anyway, great like college rock, power poppy, uh, pop punk stuff. The B side in this one's called Angela, and it is a, a story about a 60s girl group rock and roller who gets involved with uh, drugs and her life falls apart. And they believe that it was about the Shangri Laws, but there was nobody in the Shangri Laws named Angela. Still, it's a great song. So then, move on to their next seven inch, which is also on Archive Records. And let me pull it out of the sleeve here. This is the Older Women 7-inch. Um, the song Older Women is a ska, reggae kind of piss take. They're not really a ska, reggae band, but they do a credible version of that kind of up-tempo, upbeat thing. It's a great song, actually, and I would love to hear a straight power pop or pop punk version of the song. The B-side is uh, Restless Kind, which is kind of one of my anthems. It's about being restless. It's about uh, not feeling like you're fitting in or things are going anywhere. It's about feeling stuck. So, from there, they kind of changed their sound a little bit and became a lot more psychedelic. Um, my copy of their first EP, which came out on 4, 415 Records in the early 80s, I don't remember which year, the They Walk Among You EP, which is kind of a quasi-concept album that follows roughly the story of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, this was them going into a dark psychedelic kind of, here, here's that, and there's the label, uh, dark psychedelic rock underground punk sound, <clears throat> kind of, um, wow, how do I even describe their music? Power poppy, but still kind of new wavy, but kind of dark, kind of uh, horror punk. Um, yeah, great stuff. I mean, uh, they, they have songs in here like They Walk Among You, Garden of Delight, Branded. Invocation, American Survival. They were highly influenced by the Gun Club and the Cramps, as well as bands like the Kinks, um, the Zombies, uh, the Trogs, those kind of groups. I got this for a dollar in a discount bin here in my local town back in the early 90s when I first found out about this band. And yeah, it's kind of warped because it got drowned in a mishap involving upstairs plumbing. Um, but I can't bring myself to replace it. It was a dollar copy still in pretty good condition it plays well so um yeah great band great stuff if you like kind of the more william s burroughs um flying burrito brothers graham parsons was a big influence on the main songwriter gary trainer um rolling stones all that kind of stuff you know uh you might give this a listen see if it works for you so they followed that up with an album called gardens and actually i have a sealed copy that i've never opened I have an open copy that I play that I will show you in a moment, but which is also in the same vein, kind of new wavy, dark psychedelia. They open for bands like The Damned. They open for the B-52s. They open for the psychedelic furs. 
Um, Howard Thompson, who was their producer, also worked with Judas Priest. And actually, Judas Priest was going to record one of their songs uh, off that EP, the song, I believe, Invocation. And they did not. But at any rate, this is Gardens. Um, great record. Great kind of Lovecraft meets, Burroughs meets... You know, that early 80s dark psychedelic influence. I'm going to show you the record. It's on Brain Eater Records, which was a small label that didn't put out a whole lot. Uh, they wound up in their next incarnation on Enigma Records. Um, the next incarnation was a band, Jet Black Berries, which I've mentioned before. So, uh, yeah, this stuff is out there. But there's also a CD, New Math, Wake the Dead. And the story is that uh, when they changed to Jet Black Berries, they opened for themselves as Wake the Dead playing New Mouse songs and then play Jet Black Berry songs. And here's the thing about this compact disc. I released this disc back in 99. My brother and I had a record label, Reanimator Records, and we were trying to be a horror punk record label at the time. And we just wanted to put out records by people that we liked. We got to know the band. They're still friends of ours to this day. Um... Yeah, it's great music. Now, there's alternative takes and, excuse me, <coughs> takes with different production on this compact disc. All of these tracks were handpicked by the main songwriter, Gary Trainer, and approved by him. And actually, right up to the day we sent it off to the mastering plant, he's like, you really want to put this stuff out? And we said yes. So, that's it. New math. Now, I want to show you really quick where I got my information this is a book. This is the Treasure, Trouser Press Guide to Records. This is an early edition. This is the fourth edition. This has been my beat-up, well-worn Bible to underground music in the days before the internet. This is where, when I heard one track by Jeff Blackberries, I could go to the Trouser Press, look up the band, see all of their records, get some reviews. Uh, same thing with Legal Weapon, which is a band I love. Lots of great stuff in here. So if you see these books either of them, you know, especially in a discount bin or something, they're well, well worth checking out. You'll never know what you'll discover. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Leave comments below. I try to answer as many as possible. Um, tell me what you're digging. Yeah, and I'll catch you next time.